In this video, I'll show you how to create scatter charts in Power BI. Do you want to easily visualize the relationships between two numerical variables in your reports? And you want to take this a step further by formatting this chart with the aid of the analytics pane in Power BI Desktop. Today, I'll be taking you through that. So let's talk about scatter plots. A scatter plot is a very useful quite useful chart for easily visualizing relationships between two numerical variables. The card here is numerical. So it's going to plot the data points you give it for a set of values for two variables using the Cartesian coordinates, which is the X and Y coordinates. So you can give it two variables, say your sales and profits, and you can plot it on the X and the Y axis, and it's going to plot the data points for each value. With a scatter plot, you can compare the data points on these two axes at the same time, on your X and Y axis, at the same time, far more easily than I think you can do on another chart. So today we're going to be creating one in Power BI, and we're going to be working with a loan data set. Just a quick preview of our data set. I'm going to drop the link to it so you can download it and follow along. So this is our data set here. We have a loan data set. This is the date, the income, the amount of the loan dispersed, the age of the applicant, the gender, the outstanding debt, the purpose of the loan, the interest rate, the education level, and the promo campaign. So this is just, you can go around, download the data set, and get a feel of it. And I'm going to head back to the report view yeah so i report to you and i'm going to create a new page right let's just get to page two i'm going to increase the size of this so you can see clearly yeah so a scatter plot like i said used to show the relationship between two or more numerical variables so if you want to see correlation between your two variables your scatter plot or scatter chart is the best choice right so today, I want to see the correlation between the income and the loan dispersed. So I want to see how that plays out. I want to see if there is any relationship between the, let's, let's, let me show you that. If there's any relationship between the income of the applicant of the loan and the loan amount dispersed. So we're going to head back to our report view and to start with, if you want to create a scatter chart, you come over to your visualizations pane and you select this scatter chart. You can see it's like points scattered all over. So you select this. I'm going to expand that to make it bigger. So once you've selected this, let's limit this a bit. So I want to see the correlation between income and loan dispersed, right? So I'm just going to drag my income and I'll place my income in the X axis. And then I'm going to go ahead and where's my loan dispersed? Yeah, I'll drag this on my Y axis as well. And I want to see that by the week number. So they're like 52 weeks or 53 weeks, right? I'm going to place this here. You see that it's actually just summing this. And what I want to see is I want to see the average income and the average loan. So I'm going to change this to average. And I'm going to come ahead here to loan and change it to average as well. So as you can see, well, I've created a simple scatter chart which shows the relationship between the income, so on an average, and the loan dispersed. So we can clearly see like a linear relationship here. But if we want to add more context to this, as we're going to do now, you can head over to your analytics pane and add more to this. So I'm going to come over to my analytics pane. So if you see here, this is where you add data to your visual. 
you come over here this is where you format your visual and lastly this is your analytics pane so this is where you add further analysis to your visual like we want to do what we want to do is we want to include a trend line and we're going to come over here select this analytics pane and then come over to your trend line and turn that on so i want to change the transparency of this i want to make it not that dark i want to make it fade a bit so i'm going to increase the transparency but i'm going to keep it at say 50 yes i'm going to keep it at 50. so with transparency at 50 this is okay for me so this is just how you add more to your data from the analytics pane right so this is how you create a scatter chart now let's do something else let's do something different right let's open another page i'll select the scatter chart again i want to create something different i want to check out my age i want to see the relationship between the age and the loan this burst so i'm just going to select my age place it here select each place each get my loan place it here now where did that go loan place it here and i'm finally going to add my week number here so as you can see automatically it's going to like sum it up but i want the average so i'll change that to average so you do it for both of them change the average so once you've changed the average in your x-axis and y-axis you would have your chart now so there's something you can see clearly from this chart if you go through it you see that a lot of the data points are kind of clustered around this point so let's say you want to draw the attention of your audience or the user of this dashboard to this part of it what can you do to make that possible so we're going to head over to the analytics pane right over here and you're going to make use of what i call the x-axis constant line or the y-axis constant line depending on what you want to do. Today we are going to be making use of the x-axis constant line. So basically what it does is it adds lines to your visual. So I could add a line over here and I can add a line over here just to kind of create a demarcation. I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to select add line. I'm in my analytics pane and I select the x-axis. Then I'm going to select add line. So a line is introduced and by default, it's on the zero part of my axis so now what what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit that feature so i'm going to come here to line drop that down and let me just scroll down a bit so the value of this line when i checked it was kind of close to let me remove this for a bit so you can see it clearly so removing this you can see that this is 40 this is 45 so this is like 42.5 so clearly around 43 i want to introduce a line here if you look a bit around here you see somewhere around like 53 as well so i'm going to be introducing two lines with those points so let me go back and redo my line so now i'm still in the analytics pane and i'm going to scroll up and add line again then i'm going to select the first value 43 so once I select for three, the line is in the 43 region and I can make some adjustments to my color and select this dark black color. And this is okay. Transparency seems okay. You can also play around with it, the style of the line. If you want solid lines, anything you want, this works fine for me for now. So now I need a second line, right? So once you've added one, you can still come ahead and yes, add another line. And by default that will be your constant line too and then this will pop open you just change this to your 53 that's 53 i did the color as well so let's change our color to black 
so this is it i could also change it to let's say 54. let's work with that let's work with 54. so basically this is how you had like trend lines and constant lines to your scatter plot in power bi so this is how you add them up so you can go ahead and edit this like giving it a proper title and formatting the visual accordingly Also, I would just like to add um, additional features to the chart, like a legend. So I'll go back to the previous chart we created. Let's go back to the first chart we created for this. And let's add like gender. Let's see if there is any distinguishment with gender. So you can come ahead to your legend. You can see your legend here. I'm going to select my gender, gender, drag and drop. So you can see how it colors it based on gender how you can distribute that so you can work with gender as well if that is something that you want to tell a story with so i'm going to remove this for now so we're talking about scatter plots how to introduce your trend lines and your constant lines lastly i want to talk about animations right so i don't think this is something a lot of people know but Scatter plot is actually the default visual that offers you animation in Power BI and I think that's one thing that makes it really really cool and something you should take advantage of in your reports, right? So we're going to create an animation with the help of the scatter chart that is going to change the position of the data points based on yearly information. So if I select a particular year, it's going to like animate so let's get into that so first of all let me show you how you get that so now i'm selecting my chart so i click on this i'm selecting my chart right come over here scroll down to the very end you're going to see what we call play axis so this is where you introduce your yearly information to activate the animation feature of scatter plots or scatter chart it's as simple as dragging your column if it's a date or if you have it as a year. So I have it as year now and I'm just going to use that. That's fine. Drag and drop. So immediately you do this. One thing you notice is the introduction of this progress bar at the bottom. You call it a progress bar and you notice the year. And you also notice a play button or kind of like a play option. If you click on display option, you're going to see how the data points positions are going to change. So let's do that now. Let's select the play option. So we have like a short number of years. So that was pretty fast. So I'll select it again. So you can see how the correlation is with years. So you can see how that moves, how your data point is still trying to be linear even across the years so let's go ahead and do this for the second chart as well so i'm going to head over to page three and we'll come over here again so you can do this yourself since you've seen how i introduced the year to the other chart so hopefully you can do that as well so you come over to your play axis you drag your what your year column so you need to be including like so once I include this, I notice my progress bar, my year value. So I'm going to click play. And if you see something, even across the year, it seems like a lot of the data points are converging. So on average, are people that are borrowing within this range? I think that is something that I'm trying to tell you. You can go ahead and format this to look better than this for your reports and give it a whole new look and feel 
basically this is how you get started creating a scatter chart or a scatter plot in power bi so if you have that report you're thinking of building and you want to show an insight about the correlation between two numerical variables you should definitely consider using a scatter chart right and if you consider using a scatter chart you can make use of the year axis as well if your data is one in which you can make use of time intelligence functions so if your data is something you can make use of time intelligence functions as well you have some year data you have some dates definitely you can also activate your play axis by introducing this year in your visual so basically this is how you get started creating a scatter chart i hope this helps you get started creating one in power bi and good luck on your data journey i'll see you in the next one I hope this video helps you if you like it please like and subscribe to my channel and share to anyone you think would really need this or would find it helpful at least so i'll see you in the next one